you know? 10 AR-15s pointed in my face. A guy in the bushes at the window. If it wasn't for me sitting there holding that teddy bear. Thing is, Half of them indicted now too, so you know, did they take that picture because they wanted to? Or did the diddler say, if you don't get in this motherfucking picture, I swear to God, I'm, I'm dropping dime on all of y'all, I'm, I'm sending all these tapes in tomorrow. You know, like, I see that as an option. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I mean, King Cole running around, you know, Dropping down, dry snitching on himself is dead. Jaden finally talking about the tunnels. You know they might want- The newest Revelations Jaguar is making waves in the streets. When Wright talks about Diddy, she makes startling accusations, claiming that Diddy coerces his kids into engaging in dubious behaviors. Wright has been relentlessly revealing shocking facts about the music industry for free, but her spotlight on Diddy is really stirring up controversy. But really, I don't. And I don't spend as much time on this couch as a lot of people think I do. But what I can tell you that I do do is I like, I comment, I share. I say, I'm a member. I got a membership. I pay for a membership. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Y'all better get in there. Because it's a whole. Hey. Y'all don't want to miss it. I'm telling you. And my manager. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> One million each other. We're supposed to be hating Jack. Horrible. <laughs> What's going on? As a matter of fact, wait a minute. I think this is easy. Like, no, you know she said the captain. Shut that out of here. That boy. Listen to me. There's no Jaguar. Anything. Listen to me. You could say. Do you know the Jaguar breathed oxygen? That is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> she don't breathe air. She breathes cat. Cino! <laughs> Why you come here lying? I mean, Whoa. listen to me. <laughs> they didn't have me on drugs that I never sold. <laughs> no, so the crazy part is, is like, all these people were in your corner at one time. Some they, of them. They, so, it's about to say some of them. But you have to understand them. this. See, we've broken down the troll farm. Mm. And now thanks to my best birthday gift, ever, Odell, my investigation team has just gotten so much better. This is a whole troll farm. Yeah. This, is, listen to me, the object is to turn my life into the Truman Show and they become the writers. It's crazy when I see them. No, yeah. no, they teach that in the YouTube class on how to slander me. They have a class. Yeah. Where they teach people how to slander me, how to defame me, like a class. Are, are there words that could draw you out? Like, are there certain words that can draw you out? Like, I, I, like I yeah, was my watching. Name. My name. My name. My name. <laughs> 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 my name is enough. Right. <laughs> 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 Say my name. 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 Say troll like everybody else troll. I show up as me. <laughs> and I troll as me. I want everybody to know that I'm in here f chat up. <laughs> Wait, so is is are there um how many fake Jaguar rights Jaguar how, how many Um and by the end of 2022 there were 65 fake Jaguars. Um the last time I checked after I got home from jail and I started posting again, um, it was 150 fake Jags. I've literally been backstage on stream yards at other content creators. And because I didn't cam up, they wouldn't let me up because there were three or four other fake Jags oh, yeah. back there with me and they didn't know which one was me. Right. Mind, I like, imagine that you look backstage your stream, y'all, and it's five Jaguar right. <laughs> it, it's crazy. I know your voice so well now. Where were those mother when I was moving, G? Right, yeah, right. According to Jaguar Wright, 
Diddy controls his kids and makes them do bad things. Could have been moved in 20 minutes. If I could have got the fake Jags to come and do something other than troll. Yeah, someone tried to come up on somebody's stream and try to be the fake Jag, and uh, the first thing they did was like, they said, oh, no, nope, Jaguar don't start off cussing like that. She starts off sweet. <laughs> she starts off That's sweet. That's how much they study me. As they be copying everything. Wait a minute, but when I hear those excited utterances of when they jocking the shit, and you know you a daddy do I buy. <laughs> <laughs> so they take the lingo. <laughs> they take the slang. Yo, they run with everything, and then they they want to make themselves special. It, th th there's something interesting about the mindset of a professional troll. Mm because you're pretending to not be yourself, but you're boisterous in your fake self, but you're very adamant that no one's ever gonna find out who you are, no one's ever gonna see you, so I'm gonna keep playing in y'all faces. You know what I mean? That, that takes a lot of time and a lot of work. And just the simple fact that the record for a live, a negative live on me, 19 hours. Oh, wow. Oh. 19 hours. It was a 19 hour live. 19 hours and like five or six minutes and some like it. No bathroom breaks. 19 hours. Man. My God. They man. kept that stream going. Danny Robertson yeah. has had a channel called Woo Child the Ghetto where she's literally has a video. It's still posted now. It's been running for almost nine weeks of nothing but clips of me from all of my channels that were terminated that had evidence of malice and gang stalking. You know what I mean? Like literally 24 hours a day, she has this thing. It's been running for almost nine weeks. So yeah, can I ask Like you she was literally begging her subscribers to cash app her to pay to keep the page going because wow no one's there and it's not making any money and it's 24 hours. Oh, shit. Who has a 24 hour negative campaign running on a social media engine? 24 hours a day, they work in shifts. <clears throat> I got screenshots where they refer to each other as coworkers. Wow, wow. So on competing the content creators. On the other side of things, <clears throat> Um, can you understand probably, you know, for the, your average troller who lives, let's say, in their mama's basement in Idaho, uh, getting a- With peanut get, butter and with, asking their dog to do all, strange things? All that, all that. And they're getting- Hi, a, Adrian. <laughs> and they're getting a reaction out of talking about you, don't you? There's probably a high in that. Like, ooh, I'm getting, the I'm getting noticed. The dopamine, yeah. it's, um, I- it's weird when you see some of them literally think that they have a right to your name. Man. Like they literally fight over who deserves to stream Jag content. Damn. That's why they hate real life so much. Like, especially oh, Michael boy. Braggs. Michael Braggs is very upset because he's been waiting for his million view video. He finally crossed 25,000 subscribers. Finally. <laughs> 12 years. Amazing. <laughs> Look at what you've done. Amazing. Two more years. You might make it to 100. Is he one that was once a partner of yours? That yeah, he was the one that was running around calling himself my best friend. He was actually about to get t-shirts made up while I was in jail that said, I'm Jaguar Wright's best friend. Oh, okay. and we left. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he started stealing too much. Like, I don't mind if you get a taste, but my not the whole damn smorgage boy. <laughs> You're running your quota. You got Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Trindo, Trindo. Spindo, Bingo, Bean. Like, you got currency. And he says, it sounds like he's at an auction. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> hit the like, hit the like, hit the like, hit the like. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, we're here. We Cash App, we got the Venmo, we got the... <laughs> like, Jeez, I'll, yeah. I'll take two. Shut the f up. Like, <laughs> you know? Burger King. Y'all talking about Burger King, you know. It, 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 it. While these people are clamoring for attention, Jaguar is actually disclosing secrets each time she sits on the couch. Mint. Oh, yeah. Until Jaguar right entered, entered our world. Yeah. Um, I had to like, oh, sh 
this is a thing. And mind you, yeah. I, I knew what the action was, but to see it happen so prevalent, I'm like, wow, this is it's, it's a weapon. It's a weapon. It, it's it's a weapon. Do you I could see a troller feeling like you're like the way I doxed Wallow? That was genius. Hey. hey. You got him. <laughs> I did it bingo style. You got him. Guess which numbers make Wallow's phone number? Two? That's the first one. Who's got another number? Six, yeah. Come on, who's got another number? That is genius, though. <laughs> like, to where all you say at the end is bingo. <laughs> you say at the end is bingo. You yeah. That is genius. Oh, it was fabulous. Um, so do you... Uh, Oh, you T-Mobile. Like, what? <laughs> so you have a friend for that store that day. I bet he was there before closing too, because I did it right before the close out to make sure he had to run to the store to change his phone number. Yeah, shout out. Sorry. Yeah, shout out. Uh, uh, shout out to mm. yeah, shout out, well, all, all, new all, phone numbers. All those, shout out to new phone all numbers. All the Philly cats. All the Philly cats. Um, with that being said, how many times? Would you say you were doxxed? I've been doxxed about 10 times. Man. Yeah. That's why I keep so many phones and that's why I keep so many burner phones. Yeah. Because there's only certain phones that I'll allow certain calls on. I got a different text now for this. I got a phone in a different time zone. You know what I mean? I have to, I, do, I gotta do a little bit more. So now when they dox numbers, I just take it and recycle it and pull up the next number. Like I was doing the same thing with my YouTube channels. I knew they were gonna keep taking my channels down, and every time they would take down one, I would put up three. <laughs> hey, get, a, get ahead of the curve. Get ahead of the curve. They take down three, I put up five. <sighs> it got to the point where they were like, we, "There's a cheat turn. Why you she keep coming back? Why? <laughs> like a roach, you can't kill it. You just keep some. Because why not? <laughs> because who? are you to dictate who gets on this app and who doesn't? Why are there different rules for me than other CCs? Why can't I go in and strike for my YouTube videos, but anybody else can? Why are my videos unstrikable if you work within a certain sector? Why are there now more law enforcement agencies popping through all of the, you know, troll farms chats on a regular basis? waiting for me to show up so they can lightweight interrogate me. Hi, Electro G. Hi, Mike. Officer Mike. Mm. Well, you are kind of like the truth incarnate. Like, the walking truth, it seems. It's, 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 it, I, don't, I don't think you're supposed to be so freely walking around. How people no, I'm supposed to be miserable. You. I'm supposed to be afraid. I'm supposed to be paranoid. I'm supposed to be in panic. I'm supposed to be destitute. I'm supposed to be the picture of this is what you do not want your life to look like. And the reason why they want me to look like that is because they want to say, this is what happens to you when you tell the truth. Your life falls apart. You'll have no friends. You tell the truth if you want to. Everyone will run from you. I'm not supposed to be in love. Odell's not supposed to have stuck around. He was supposed to leave me in jail like they paid my second husband to do. Man. You know, I'm glad you took a little tour through troll hell. Oh, because what you experienced in two days is what I've been going through for almost four years, nonstop. Even when I was gone, there were people impersonating me to keep it going. Like they still got fake jags in the chat so that they can pretend they're arguing with me for content. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna argue with the fake one. To say so the real one. I come and show up and then they say, oh, that's the fake jag. Get rid of the fake jag and it's me. Oh, so they can shit. keep arguing with the fake one. Wow. Wow. I wanna ask you a question. Does that sound like the the actions of a sane person to invent and impersonate someone that you don't know and then stage an argument with that person so you can make a content for the rest of the week. 
Jaguar Wright showed up to my show today and she threatened to have sex with my dog. She said... She claimed that they are aware of their capacity to influence people to believe anything that famous people say. They, they type in the most outrageous things using my avatar. R.I.P. Plutter. Um, let me ask you because... Do you yeah, Plutter, Plutter, yes, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a mother... I got a phone call. Someone reached out to me Stop about that. what I had to say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't was, was a phone call? Someone you cared about called you? Someone that you, that mattered? It was a person that was attached to the story. I'm not going to say that person's name. What I will say is, is that person happens to be um, the father of a certain young man. And I love him. I do. I'm always going to love that guy. Uh, but what I'm going to say is, is this. I know you don't like being attached to the story because it's embarrassing. Someone who you were involved with, who you still up until this point had friendship with and someone who you were in a relationship with and had a child with. And, and it's unfair to be caught in the middle. It really is. It's terrible. You know, you just want to be left alone. You know, the relationship is over, the child's almost grown, and you want to have your life. And I get that. So then, how about you do me a favor and you tell your baby mom to keep my name out her mouth? You can tell your baby mom to stop lying on me so I don't have to tell the truth about her. You could actually, for once, have something to say to that miserable who convinced Monique to fire you from that job you worked so hard for that you very much so deserved. How about you have something to say to that fat? The one that's been dragging is in and in front of your son for years. How many men had to listen to that young man Hear his mother call them daddy and know it wasn't you. I just, I want to know. Because I know three other that played Manny to your son. Please don't call me about that ever again. And say something to her. Because it's people like you that I love that are still part of the problem. Because all of y'all niggas know the same that I know, and you've had your own slings and arrows and taking that, shit, but you just kept taking it on the chin because you wanted to keep getting picked to be the musical director for this job, for the musical director for the BET Awards, the musical director for the, you, like, I get it. You want to keep your job. I wanted to keep my job too. I just wasn't willing to do the shit that other motherfuckers was willing to do. And yeah, I done it. And then I changed my mind. No disrespect. But I didn't ask you to you chose to. I didn't ask you to betray me either. You chose to. That makes you a part of my story, see? At your choice. You ain't want to be a part of my story. Maybe you shouldn't have worked so hard to be a part of my story. Now, where were we? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. With that being said, um, <laughs> with having a troll farm at you, yeah. do you fight that with trolls of your own? Or how do you combat that? Well, I got the mod squad. Shout out to mod squad. Let's do that first and foremost. Shout and out to um, we're righteous trolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. We got all a purpose. Right. We want to get to the bottom. Okay. We want to get to the bottom of why all of this madness is allowed to happen in an app where they have community guidelines that are constantly broken every day. Yeah. Like constantly broken. And, and, and then you got liars like Latasha Transrena Kibi who decide to try to have a career in comedy and go to my hometown and think that she gonna diss me and ain't nobody gonna say nothing about it. Mm. That was a mistake. 
but she did have a few of the YouTube trolls <clears throat> stashed in the audience, and she had them there to scream Jaguar, Jaguar. And then started yelling from the back, y'all. She's pulling down his whole facade. It wouldn't be the first time a famous person stage manipulated a story by placing others beneath the platform. And she got booed while she started talking about me on so-called comedy side. Damn. Sorry, reality isn't YouTube. You're actually gonna have to earn accolades in the real art world. You know, th there's no construct in comedy where they just make the audience laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> Not <Yeah>. yet. <laughs> they do that on sitcoms, but comedy shows, no, you actually got to make them a laugh at something other than your personal life, your marriage, or your shoes. Because the truth is, the best joke you have is your life. You should use that material. Oh, man. Uh, all right, that's just, that's just Tasha, okay. All right, um, um, Jack, you're here in Dallas. Yes. Uh, we wanted to give a status update on uh, for your fans as far as what's going on, because uh, a lot of people, let's let's touch this in layers real quick, because a lot of people thought that what happened with the arrest was fraudulent. It did not happen. You were just doing it for clout. And said no, that was a troll farm to create disinformation okay. so people would stop looking closer into that very phony arrest because they are complicit in staging it. They do this all the time. Something terrible happens to me. They said the same thing about me being swatted in DeSoto at my godmom's house. It'll be a year since I got swatted. Yeah. You know, 10 AR-15s pointed in my face. A guy in the bushes at the window. If it wasn't for me sitting there holding that teddy bear, Because of YouTubers, spoofing numbers, lying, saying that I was live on camera with my cousin duct taped to a chair with a pow pow to her head, and that I was threatening to unalive her. Danny Robertson, Michael Braggs, Adrian Deontay Lewis, King World 2020. Kulu, a.k.a. Devon, the guy who said that he called the police and claimed a $2,500 reward that turned out to only be $100. This is crackhead shit. It was crackhead at $2,500. Like, at the end of the day, okay, you turn me in, you brag about it, you get $2,500. What about tomorrow? What about the day after tomorrow? What if I got fans out there that are kind of disgusted about the whole thing? He said he was getting death threats. He said they kept calling him a snitch and was threatening to harm him and um, his midnight colored wife. <laughs> and that cocoa crispy milk baby. <laughs> you know <laughs> that they live in that Buick. Oh, man. <laughs> You know, he wanted to be in the Nature Boy camp. Nah, okay. The boy, the Kulu. Yeah. He's the one that hates Solar. He's the one that started the rumor saying that me and Solar had an intimate relationship. Because he was jealous that I, I took Solar and Shaka under my wing. He wanted to be a part of them. He wanted to be in there, but he ain't get accepted. He got rejected. Can you imagine? That's hard. Yeah, Who the it. fuck gets rejected a from nature, boy? <laughs> he takes everybody, G. The cult says no. <laughs> like, that's swipe. like the devil saying, no, not that one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the devil swipe left. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but that's how this boy became, you know, obsessed with hunting down because they rejected him. <gasps> so he started stalking them. And in the interest of the public, yeah, but you wanted to eat the seminal fluid with the, you wanted to take the sacramite. You wanted to be down. You wanted to. Yeah. yeah. So. And guess what? He even lied about that. He even lied about turning me in. He lied about everything. You know, 
And I asked King World 2020 the other day, you want to call me a liar and you want to sit up here and defend people that you've never met. And you've also never met me. Let's talk about people that you have met. How about we talk about people you act? Jaguar doesn't let anyone slide, no matter who they are. Why did Devon lie? Why did Kuru lie? I don't know why he lied. I don't even care. I don't know why he did it. But this is your most trusted ally. Y'all, y'all like got yourselves as like the, the neighborhood watch for you two. And he's a liar. What do you have to say about that? We don't give a f I don't know why he lied. I don't even know him like that. I know him from online. <laughs> like, shit is real. Oh, when you just start asking relevant questions, these are all strangers collaborating with each other to torture another human being because someone paid them to. Obviously, uh, it might be uh, the owner of Google, I guess. I, fuck, fuck, I don't I, I don't know. I don't know. No, I tell you what I do know. Leora Cohen is the head of the music division. Yes, he is. For YouTube. Yes, he is. Leora don't like me so much. So we're gonna allow that to, let's let that fester. Why not? Mm. Why not? Clearly the company is moralless. They allow Tasha K to still operate. You, you can't make that makes sense. A $4 million debt that she can't pay. And she's not even taking the money that she's making YouTube to pay that debt. She's spending it, spreading it around in cash apps and super chats. To blog us to do negative disinformation on me so she can pretend that she don't talk about me. No, because you've hired 50 people to do it for you, you lazy Do your own dirty work. Or are you just looking for another assistant to, um, you know, mistreat and make an accomplice of felonies? You know, that you exile off who don't want to talk because she's so embarrassed by how bad you're doing to hide Chelsea. Chelsea, you should come forward. I'd actually be willing to help you, Chelsea. You got that baby coming by that deadbeat old guy with the AARP that Tasha hooked you up with. You could use a friend. <laughs> you got enough enemies. The imagery. How's Von Ray doing? Bet you wishing you treated Von Ray different. But then again, he turned into Swiss cheese after dating her, so who knows? <laughs> he lived though. He lived, you know, just like on the door. Hey, he arrived, he arrived. <laughs> He's strong. <laughs> he arrived. <laughs> so, so oh my God, Jack, do you mind if we ask for? We don't want to go too deep on the case itself. Again, it was all yeah. was crazy that happened. But you did come to Dallas. You did. Uh, I'm assuming uh, see some. I people. went to court. You went to court. Yeah, with um, my lawyer, who they who they doxed. That's the lawyer. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they no one's. Burger King. <laughs> well, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, um, Mexico, Mike, Doc's the lawyer. He got a lot of phone calls. He's got some follows, <laughs> some marriage proposals. They liked his resume. Oh, there you go. The trolls <laughs> liked go. his resume. Oh, yeah. how, how, did it, how did it go? Because um, as we spoke, uh, uh, what is what what did, what be your expectation walking in the court, walking to talking to? to discuss this situation. And I expect to walk out. There you go. And boom, goes the dynamite. And that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I've been doing. <laughs> I told him last year when I walked out, all charges dismissed. It's gonna be that. Is God telling you this? Because I just feel like you work and you just know. That, Absolutely. Yeah. So like you already know when you yeah. go in there, like I'm coming out. Yeah. He, he determines, you know, I, I, I decided, I don't know, that whole, the name of that production company still is just irking me because I really do walk by faith. Um, I devoted my life 
to walking by faith. I don't worry about what human beings are saying or doing because I know what God said. No matter who they are, Jaguar never lets anyone get away with it. And the closer that I walk to that, to those words and live by that motto, I don't worry about nothing. Like when I say Jag okay, don't get no that. fucks, I mean literally because I don't worry about nothing. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. It was already written, so ain't nothing I can do to change it. The only thing that I can do is stay out of its way, accept it, or maybe bend it. Mm. You can't change the future, but you can bend circumstances. Yeah. And I'm, I'm an airbender. Yeah. Yeah. I dance on that line mm. because I know the power of the tongue. And I know if I believe it and I say it, it will be a shade. See, I believe things a little differently than most people do. That's why I'm so confusing. I get it. I wouldn't believe me if I was them either. They sleep in a month. Woke. Don't understand me. I'm conscious you're not. Then that. We were in the airport and we're on the moving walkway. And I said, count how many people got phones out. I just do that. 85% of the people that were around look like zombies. And the people that weren't looking down with it. Where's my phone? I don't know what to do without my phone. You can tell they phones died on the plane. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shit is depressing. You can tell when they turn that whole on the last two text messages, two percent at right. <laughs> worst feeling. You know, ain't nothing worse than watching grown people wandering around looking for an outlet. <laughs> like like they like the ah! <laughs> What happened? I ain't get a chance to post. <laughs> hey. Man, I just that made me think of something funny. I watched a a guy he he took a sticker of an outlet and put it on the wall. Ooh. And I'm talking about within 30 minutes, people sitting down, they stood trying to- Try to get it in! <laughs> <laughs> With my Yo, life they depends need to, on it. They need the juice. Now I'm telling you. I'm you tell know? So, hold on, so let me ask you, because the world's about to get introduced to, um, to Ange. Yeah, and uh, you know, I'm he, excited about that. Yeah, it's a very exciting times. Uh, he was with you today yeah. in court. How, how was his demeanor throughout? Uh, oh, he was great until he almost got pinched, you what? know. <laughs> what happens with that? He got, bust, he got busted for espionage, but they let him go with a... <laughs> <laughs> But they loved his T-shirt. Oh, yeah. You know, so they liked the t-shirt, but they wanted to lock him up anyway. <laughs> Why would the text? <laughs> you know, don't mess with text. <laughs> but no, they, no, we had a good time. And, and it was great because him and my lawyer got to really meet and get to know each other. So the two of them went to the courtroom and said, I, I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's safe to say that, um you're not worried too much about that situation, but you are worried in the sense that it was, it was wrong in the first place. Well, but. this is the thing. Look at all that's been allowed to happen in my life without law enforcement becoming a little bit more aggressive um, with investigating this. It shouldn't have taken us doing IC3 report after IC3 report after IC3 report to finally get the FBI, which by the way, didn't show up to YouTube with the subpoena to let agents operate so that they could find the criminal organizations. It, that didn't happen until about two days before Diddy's house got raided. Mm, Isn't that line. interesting? Timeline. Two days before Diddy's house got raided, the, the feds went in. They went in uh. to YouTube. YouTube is under investigation. Why don't nobody talk about that? Wait, wait, I didn't know that. For cyber criminal, yeah, for cyber terrorism. Shit. Yeah, and I've bumped into a few of the agents in the chats. 
is real. You got criminals operating on this app. And when I started doing more research, I started realizing it was happening to a lot of other content creators that have small platforms. Jaguar Wright gained notoriety for her vocal critique of the music business. There are many reasons behind her contempt, including her personal exposure to the industry's darker aspects and her willingness to expose what she perceives to be its abusive and corrupt practices. Some have been swatted and a couple of people have lost their life and nobody even knew about it. Swept it right under the rug. So if this is happening to me with as big a profile as I have on social media, and they're getting away with it. Imagine how many other small people that they want to run off the app or they want to do this or they want to take their audience or they want to push them out of the algorithm. They had a 50 some odd year old woman doxxed and then swatted. Yeah. Um, there's another um, gentleman who they were mocking him for having HIV and they were looking up his criminal records. He was. Uh, apparently, he was having a threesome with a, a YouTube couple, Sherelle's mm. World and Perry, and they didn't know he had the house in Virginia, and that got a little sticky. And in Virginia. And then the next thing you know, Michael Stovall got swatted. <laughs> no, I, you know, you, you, like you, YouTube is you're using real names. I, I, don't, I don't know these folks. YouTube is sinister, G. Those who know, know. And those who know, know. I, shit. This, I mean, this red <laughs> devil app, I'm telling you, you better watch out in the devil bag, y'all. Lord. All right, Jack. Um, well, let's get to it then, man. I, we got to get your thoughts on it, man. We, sure. love, we love your conversation and when you look at things going on, and we got to get yeah. your take on it. Um, you were a big advocate for 50 years of hip hop. You were, uh, yeah. you were advocating, of course, and you know, personal shit happened, but you were really big on like using your show to promote it and just having yeah. do everything for it. Now, Antonio Brown just mentioned that Jay Z, you go out here and perform in front of Tom Brady's people, all these, you know, the, the other color, yeah, and you do nothing for the whole year that we celebrated. Hip hop fifty, no performances, no nothing of the. But same. why would he do that? He wants to still pretend he's a genius, and he's tired about people clowning them with the teleprompter with all the lyrics on the floor. <laughs> and he doesn't have any new raps. What what would be the reason for him to do anything? The only thing him performing and doing anything like that would do was draw more attention to the fact that where his name was on that list was totally fraudulent. Yeah. If you're a thief and you didn't get caught with your hand in the cookie jar, the worst thing you do is come back and show people how the crime happened so they know it was you that did the stealing. Like, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. don't go back to the city crime. No, nah. he robbed all the fucking hip hop. Why would he show up? Do you have a problem with his name being etched? Remember, the remember what he said in his acceptance speech? Yeah. For the Dr. Dre, I beat my humanitarian award. <laughs> like, I had no idea that that was the Dr. Dre that they was talking about. I thought it was somebody else. Like, hell of a humanitarian. He's got booty hole issues, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's where's the humanitarianism? I mean, or, or is that code for like, I took a lot of to get this statue award. Like, oh, I don't know. Damn. Where's the humanity? Why does he get an award? He beats up women. He short he shorts his baby moms on child support with a with billion dollars. Where's the humanitarianism? I'm trying to... You, you bring it up. <laughs> but I guess we can't forget. I'm trying to figure out where the humanitarian part comes in with Dr. Dre. Yeah, hey, yeah. I mean, that would have yeah. been more appropriate for Dr. Dre, like Dr. Dre and Ed Lover. <laughs> from Yo! MTV Rest. Yeah, yeah. That would have been more appropriate for there to be in the way, because he actually did something for hip hop. Ah, yeah. I don't know. So let me let me ask if Jay Z's name and Dr. Dre's name ends up on the top 
three of hip hop. Would you have a problem with that? Like, yeah, it's a lie. It'll be a lie. It's a lie. Man. Top three in hip hop is a tough argument, but it all would all come down to five names. Sure. KRS One, Big L, Notorious B.I.G., Tupac. Hmm. And honestly, proof. Oof. If it were real. Oh. If he got credit for every every lyric he wrote for Mark. Wright's animosity towards the music industry originates from several critical issues. She has consistently voiced concerns about the widespread exploitation and abuse she claims exists within the industry. Um, because the rap record that Eminem has solely belongs to proof. Who wrote it and taught Marshall how to perform it. So on the flip side of that. Can you imagine being one of the dopest black rappers ever and you invented the hottest white boy rapper and sold it? Like imagine that, he was able to pull that off. Hey, for a check. He invented Slim Shady. Proof invented Slim Shady. Yeah. And Marshall never gave him credit. You know, did you listen to the new music? Yeah, oh. yeah I heard a little bit of it. I was like, oh God, this is, this is a far, this is a reach. It sounds like what Teletubbies would sound like if they use words. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> Nothing. You know the Teletubbies? Me, baby, me, 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 me. That's what it sounds like to me, but with words. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's trash. It's, it's, it's trash. <laughs> it's so funny because it's like, um, where's proof? I send it to, I send it to people who was like, Eminem is like one of the greatest. So then I sent him that. If he was the greatest, then this could never be produced. <laughs> this would never come out of the greatest. Like, no, nah, this is, this is where you basically, when you do, start doing like that, you just, you put one it One of the down. biggest hoax of all time was taking a white boy who liked hip hop and giving him a black rapper to infuse himself into so nobody would know where it actually came. It was brilliant. And guess what, when it became, when it came time for Marshall to pay up, because the thing was, his proof was gonna give, make him the superstar rapper of all time. And he was going to give him eight mile. He was gonna give proof the label so that he could continue to produce D12 and all the other talent that was supposed to be coming. So Obi could have got a fair chance. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, Obi tries real name, no gimmicks. Um, damn, yeah, I hear you. And then Proof yeah. dies, and then Obi gets shot in the head, and I'm on the phone with him while they're putting him in the ambulance. Oh, wow. Damn. Marshall had all of Proof's books. He ran out of rhymes. And now we got the real Eminem. Yeah. Houdini. <laughs> Magic trick. So I have Benzino been telling. Eminem. So have Benzino been telling the truth the whole time? Of course, but don't nobody want to believe him because he uh, did he do our bar? <laughs> like, <laughs> do what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I seen some uh, stuff in the news and it's uh, about the army, right? And all these kids are being well. There's a uh, bill being passed where from 18 to 26 can be drafted now. What are, what are your thoughts on that? Have as much fun with your families while you can. Wait, you think it's gonna be serious? Like they, there might be a draft? You feel like they might implement it? If they're putting it in, it's because they already know they're gonna need it. You wanna know what's funny? We hear, they're implementing a draft. And we be like, oh. But in other countries around the world, you don't have a choice. Everyone has to go into the army. Everyone has to learn how to defend their country. Israelis? Shit. The Russians? 
you you saw what happened when everything broke off between you know um Ukraine, Ukraine and Russia. Mm -hmm. Everyone's trained to defend their home. We're not. We're not. I. Yeah, man. Start hunting and camping. And <laughs> go out, get your your bear spray. And Donald Trump, they making fart jokes about him, saying that he shit himself. Like this ain't going down well. Ivanka done quit. She don't want to be his, you know, his everything. Jaguar Wright, who has intimate knowledge of the music industry's darker sides, has become well known for her candid criticism of it. She boldly reveals what she claims is the industry's abusive and corrupt character. <laughs> Shit. Bionic fruit. Bust through Pope. Like, what kind of shit is going on? Like, this shit is crazy. Food ain't food. But you know, about 20 years ago, the FDA said that it was okay for them to start using animal hormones in vegetables so that it would keep them, you know, less agitated. They wouldn't get fucked up while it was being shipped. So even if you were a vegetarian, that they were using pig hormones, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, you straight eating a, a ham salad. You know what I'm saying? That's hog mog. That's that, that's a hog mog salad right there. That's... Shit. <laughs> Who? What is up with all? We're number one. They doing all of this science shit, playing Dr. Frankenstein with the food, but they can't cure cancer. Like, I'm just saying, somebody is spending a lot of time making all this wild that they got going on, yeah. That's too lucrative. Have you seen the, the, the fake fish? No, Y'all seen the fake fish? Oh yeah, they put a, the, uh, the Chinese created it to put like a camera and a bomb or whatever, but they got a remote, a remote control. No, I'm talking about the fake salmon filet. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm talking about robotic fish, you talking about the, the fake Fish yeah. Yeah. What's the point in faking fish? <laughs> like that I heard on another reinformed young woman's podcast about making baby dolls. <laughs> You know what? That's what I said when I heard it. I was equally as but let's get there. Let's get there. Here we go. Maybe six dollars. Yeah, number one, the sex style thing, it's a personal choice, but it does scream to psychological issues. Let's just be honest, it's necrophilia. It's necrophilia. Cause I don't care. How perfect those titties are. Right. Right. You having all your intimate moments with this inanimate object that will never argue with you and will put out on demand. And she, she'll take it rough. Nobody will say anything, no cases, no charges, you know. Yeah, no nothing, like. So I was told by another very informed young woman who happens to work with real life, that they're making children's versions of these now for the pedos. Black market? No. Oh, this is a problem. This is, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Stops the from what, but wait a minute now, wait a minute, let's, no, let's, wait a second, let's look at this now. I said, that it makes sense that they using it as like a legal, you know, like a sting to like catch perverts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That I, that would kind of make sense, even though it's still creepy, but at least <laughs> you're using it, you know, to do some good. Did you say that a child, a, a child doll in the back of Target? That is meant to be touched in a sexual manner at all. Oh, as soon as you grab that motherfucker, 20 minutes. <laughs> now the thing is, what if the manufacturer is in Tennessee? Oh. 
Do they kill the owner of the company? Back. That's what you call a callback. Hey! <laughs> I want to know, how does that work in Tennessee? Because I'm sure now that they're threatening to kill him for touching real people, them, these dolls is going, <laughs> they're probably going to be the high, they, that's going to be a high seller this Christmas uh, in Tennessee. For the first, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the please touch me doll. <laughs> like the fuck you mean? Uh, um, my, my buddy. My buddy. All right, real quick, yeah. Before we get out of here, before we get out of here, I have to give a take on this. Uh, yeah. Real quick, because um, Father's Day just passed. Yeah. And Diddy did post a picture with all his kids. And. Should they look at the sins of the father? Should the children look at the sins of the father? Or they... Jaguar's hostility toward the music business stems from a number of important problems. She has regularly expressed her concerns about the pervasive abuse and exploitation she alleges to occur in the sector. Half of them indicted now too, so you know, did they take that picture because they wanted to? Or did the diddler say, if you don't get in this motherfucking pitch, I swear to God, I'm I'm dropping dime on all of y'all. I'm taking, I'm sending all of y'all tapes in tomorrow. You know, like I see that as an option. Oh, man. Okay. I, mean, I, mean. <laughs> I mean, King Cole running around, you know, dropping dime, dry snitching on himself is dead. Jaden finally talking about the tunnels. You know, they might want to look. Oh. So Jack, with that being said, um, for, for you yourself, um, uh, we want to make sure we promote what you have going on. Uh, uh, you know, now that you're moving around, and again, it seems like your name is bigger than ever now. People are now just discovering your singing ability now, so they're looking for music now. Uh, of course, they want to hear the truth, and then everything about you is about to elevate. Um, can you speak on what's happening next? I know we always question, uh, what's going on? What's, what's going on? There's so much that I want to talk about but I can't really talk about it right now. What I can say is, is that realjag.com, we're really looking forward, but see there's some things that are going on and we've kind of, we gotta, we, we gotta talk over dinner. Um, but uh, Odell and I have decided to collaborate completely on all things. Um, and to in some way merge our companies and push forward. Um, we've gotten some really interesting offers for collaborations um, in business. But what if we just said fuck everybody and did it ourselves? on our own, our way, no compromise. I don't know. There's a lot to tell you guys, there's a lot. But what I can guarantee you is, is this, it'll be hard to miss us. <laughs> We would be delighted to hear your thoughts on this. Please remember to like and subscribe.